Hello, 360 Cam. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Afternoon. Yeah. Jenny, you got got to use the personal help here as an intro. Yeah, it's freaking <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Good morning, Ephrata. My name is Seth. I'm Clay. And today is Tuesday, March 6th. We thought that we would give you a little bit of uh, relationship advice this morning since, uh, you know, March is coming up. Uh, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of time for romance, you know? So here's some, uh, here's some pickup lines I thought I'd try out. I'm going to use them on my buddy Clay here just to see how he thinks, just to see how he thinks they are. So, Clay. Number one, are you a camera? Because every time I look at you, I smile. No. No? Okay. Uh, do you have a band-aid? Because I just scraped my knee falling for you. No, you might want to go to the nurse. No. Well, do you know what my shirt is made of? Uh, it looks like cotton. No, it's boyfriend material. No, I think it's cotton. You know what? How about this? Uh, just rise for a moment of silence and flush to the flag. Tiny flag. <laughs> well, at least there's one there. Anyways. There will be a meeting of the Tri-M Music Honor Society on Wednesday morning at 7.15 in the auditorium. Registra registrations for the Dutch Apple trip are due at that time. Attention juniors or seniors, Hack Experience Day is Friday, April 6th. This is a great opportunity to do the following. Discover over 100 plus programs, take, take part in Hack Chats with faculty, participate in a mock classroom situation, learn about taking classes while in high school, tour the campus with student ambassadors, and have lunch on us. Wow. Well, I mean, not us, but you know, with Hack. First come, first serve. Please stop by guidance and pick up a permission slip. The deadline is Friday, March 23rd. Attention seniors, the Ephrata National Bank Scholarships, including the Hipschman Scholarship, are now open. Log on to Navion's Family Connection to complete your applications. Apply today and get free money for college. Applications and all materials are due by March 31st. You've noticed some changes as we pack, pack up for the Media Center renovation, and the time has come. All classes, study halls, flex obligation time, NHS passes, etc will no longer be accepted in the library beginning March 19th. Ooh. The last day to use the Media Center and its resources for any reason is March 16th. Ooh. Thanks for your understanding as we prepare to create a fantastic space for you. RIP Media Center. Now over to Ethan with the news. Wait, it's not Monday. Oh. oh. It's not Canada anymore. General. Hey. It's Ethan. <laughs> hey, it's Ethan. Inflame tensions between Muslim and Buddhist groups in the Kandy province of the nation of uh, Sri Lanka have led the country to declare a state of emergency in the most heavily affected regions of the province. Sri Lanka has historically had problems with religious conflict before. Being a nation with an incredibly mixed religious composition that is split between a Buddhist majority and large Muslim and Hindu minorities. Although the recent conflicts have only resulted in one death, and several burned stores, they reflect the greater problem of religious conflict in Southern Asia. This is evidenced by Myanmar's persecution of their Rohingya Muslim minority. On this day in 1986, the famous painter Georgia O'Keeffe passed away. Known for her simple depictions of the American Southwest, O'Keeffe hadn't always been in interested in the West. When she started her painting career, she originally had a very urban style and found inspiration in New York City. However, when she took a trip to Texas, she began to paint scenes with 
natural cannons and planes, her paintings of cow skulls, and other things, in particular, gained her much recognition. Today, she is a highly renowned artist that has influenced many other painters. She passed away at the age of 98. She might have painted the West, but her painting certainly didn't go south. Oh! Hey, Ethan, by the way, yeah. if you were a vegetable, you'd be a cucumber. Aww. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Never would have batten with the lunch. <laughs> He's so small, I get bent in the shoulders. That's it, not right, dude. No, uh, Jaren Langer. Jaren was, ooh. <laughs> wow, is it? Ellis. Ellis. <clears throat> That's actually uh, hardcore. Well, <laughs> in, uh, in sports resorts, we got nothing. But, here's a pickup line for you. <laughs> Do you play soccer? Stop. Because you're a keeper. Stop. Just anyway, go to the video. enjoy this video we made. I'm sorry about the pickup lines, but uh, just a question. Do you have a map? Because uh, I'm getting lost in your eyes. You're terrible. <laughs> Do you have a favorite teacher? Maybe a secret crush you want to acknowledge? How about a best friend you want to thank for listening to all your problems over the weekend? If so, what better, the way to, what better way to thank someone than to send some flowers? That's why I've been using these pickup lines, so, you know, use them. All this week, the junior class is sponsoring a flower sale. What a great way to tell someone you're thinking of them, other than using pickup lines. Orders will be taken for single stem carnations to be delivered on March 23rd. We are offering three options, white, pink, and yellow. Ah, oh, oh my, that felt weird. <clears throat> so send one or six or even a whole bunch to that special person or people in your life. You may purchase flowers during your lunch period all week. Flowers will be on sale during all lunches. Only $1.25 per flower, or better yet, six for $6. Now that's what I call a bargain. Oh, my. Come one, come up. No, I don't want them. Clay, take them. No. Clay, do you live in the cornfield? Stop it. Because I'm stalking you. Stop it. <laughs> all right, that's just wrong. That's illegal. Come one, come all to the student faculty basketball game this Thursday, March 8th at 7 p.m. at the middle school gym. Fun for everyone. Walking tacos, raffle prizes, a virtual reality headset, and Starbucks. If you want to, you can try a half-court shot at hat and at halftime and give the edge to students or teachers scores. Again, that is this Thursday, March 8th at 7 p.m. in the middle school gym. Hey, I'm no organ donor, but I'd be happy to give you my heart. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. Well, after that, have a great day. You know what? I'm sorry about all this, but uh, you know what? Sometimes it's good to be kind of smooth. Anyway, Joe. Have a good day. Tony, you can't go. <laughs> I can't read it. <laughs> Are you a parking ticket because you've got fine on it? What's up, 360? How are you doing? I'm going to shut you off.